the last time I shared my mom's tips on TikTok, I was featured on the Daily Mail randomly for some reason. <laughs> so let me share more of them with you now. She loved it too. It earned me some brownie points. She just closed on a deal that was like over $3 million and then legitimately the next day was working on a rental and the person that she contacted was like, oh my God, it was so hard to even get someone to respond to me. Like, um, thank you so much for, you know, getting back to me. And she's like that with every single client and I like saw that growing up. I just saw that no matter what, she would prioritize a client because of the human being instead of kind of like what she could get from them or what price point they were working in and to do things out of kindness um you know not everything has to have a monetary value to it i know a lot of people say like don't do anything for free but i have learned so much in the jobs that i ended up doing for free or like helping a friend by you know helping them do something for their business or giving advice or whatever like it's not that much out of your time and it is beneficial to you too because you learn from other people like when you're teaching someone, you can learn from them too. And you can learn from uh, people in different industries and just like sharing advice can be just as valuable, if not more valuable than getting paid to do something or to like really be so strict about that. Because now I have really amazing long-term relationships and I know that there are so many people that I could call and be like, hey, person that I worked with from like super, super long ago and we still have a great relationship because we also, should not burn bridges the times that i have burned bridges i still to this day i'm like why did i do that years down the road i'm like kicking myself why did i do that no matter how mad you are in a situation especially when it comes to business you have to be professional you cannot let your emotions get in the way of that and of a potential friendship in the future you don't want to say things that you cannot take back these are just a few tips. I have to go and pick up groceries for my family so we can cook some breakfast, you know. Maybe Steven will make a little egg sandwich. But have a great day. I hope these helped you. Bye. Love you, Mommy.